Why, hello, YouTube. This is Blue Poet here, and today I think we're going to play a little bit of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. A uh, new series I'm going to be starting here. Uh, hopefully we can go through the game together and uh, see how we like the game and uh, see if it's something that you want to put on your, your list as well. Um, thanks for showing up, and thank you for watching, and again, Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. We'll go in and create a new game. We'll stick with the main story. Probably most people will probably play a normal mode. Uh, so we'll keep all those settings on there. As you can see, there's quite a lot of options which is great. Um, this is actually a sequel to a different Pathfinder game that they had out uh, not too long ago, and that game was awesome, so I'm going to expect that this one's going to be just as great. Uh, we have a bunch of characters that we can choose from over here on the side, um, but I am one that likes to do custom characters, so I'm going to go ahead and do a custom character and click on Next. Uh, the game that uh, was out originally was called Kingmaker, so these are all the icons that you could choose through them uh, for your portrait on the side. And then these are all the new ones. Uh, so let's see if we can figure out who we want to be. What I usually uh, play is usually Paladins, but I think on this roll I'm going to do something a little different. And I'm going to try to create a, um, a Ranger with a Companion, so that way I have that to go with. So, uh, trying to find somebody here that has a Ranger look to him, that uh, will stand out and be good. So maybe this guy. He looks wise and stout and all that stuff so we we'll go there um, as you can see there's a ton of different classes that you could choose from again we're going to try a ranger demon slayer demon slayers are known for their expertise in structured demons athletics perception lore knowledge stealth perception added archive demon slayer favorite enemy blah 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 we got an espionage expert. These master of spies hunt for secrets rather than meat, using lies and stealthiness. Selective force fire and any corruption. Nomad. Let's just go with the Demon Slayer. Let's just see what happens. That way we're not spending a lot of time here. Then we'll just go with a human, make it easy as well. Now we gotta choose our background, it looks like. Uh, we got a craftsman, a noble, uh, no background. Um, looks like a blade is more of the faithful, regional, it's all over the place. A scholar, a street urchin, a wanderer, a warrior. Let's go with the wanderer, because it looks like there's a hunter on here. No, let's do that. Armhand, Lumberjack, Miner. Trying to find something that's good with long arms. Wait. These are going to be more healing. Diplomat, Necromancer. Throwing axe, Slew. They are a ton of stuff on here that you can actually go through. And I'm not seeing anything so far with a long sword. So I'll go back to my original and go back with the hunter and just say next. 
looks like for the ranger the big stats are dexterity and wisdom so i'm gonna go ahead and bump him up to 20 on the dexterity this max it out make him a really good uh, dexterous person this is for perception so let's get that up to 15. Um, not really caring if he's a, a smart guy. Um, melee attacks, damage rolls, and use him as a throw weapon. We'll keep his strength a little bit up there. His constitution needs to go up a little bit as well. And I don't think he really needs corrosion as well. Persuasion. Not much, but we'll keep it there. Let's go with that. Let's see what happens. And we'll make him a very dexterous racial bonus. So he is going to be very dexterous. Now it looks like we got four skill points that we can put in. Um, let's make him athletic since he is dexterity based. Um, let's give him perception. So that way he can spot the traps. His persuasion is not going to be the greatest in the world because of his charisma. Um, <laughs> Let's give him some stealth. These are all negative, but let's give him some nature lore. Don't know what I'm doing on this guy, but we will just throw things in wildly and see what happens. Uh, looks like now we got to choose our feats. Uh, these are the ones that suggest. I'm going to suggest probably weapon focus if they have one for the um, longbow, which they do. I'm going to do a weapon focus at the longbow. Looks like we get another one, so I am going to choose point blank shot for that. So that way I can hit him from afar with a good accuracy. Now we gotta choose our deity. Um, I've always liked Ayamed, it's a god of uh, uh, the holy realms and stuff like that. It's for good. Um, but let's see what else they have in there. See if they have anything that's going to be. Now yeah, let's just stick with Ayamed. Otherwise, we're gonna be here forever. So let's just go there because I've said there's a lot. We're going to choose a lawful good character. Click on next. Now we get to make him look. I'm going to try to make him look similar to that guy. So. For some reason, that one looks creepy to me. So we'll go there. We'll leave it out with a scar. It's kind of toned, but not too bad. I can't see much with this helmet on. I don't know. Show headgear. Let's see if I can take that off. Hairstyle. We've got more blonde. We've got a beard. I'm not liking the hairstyle, but we'll go with that guy. Okay. I'm not worried about war paint on him. Let's try to figure out a good primary color. That's too red. Let's go for blue. And this muddy color. Let's go with that. This will hurt! And then we gotta come up with our voice. Defeat is not an option. Turn my sound up a little bit here. A mere flesh wound. So many thoughts. So let's shit. I shall not falter. 
Adventures await. A solid plan. I'll do reserved. Why not? Actually, no, he looks very confident. So let's do confident. I have no use for this. Okay, next, we're going to choose a name. Let's call him Barrett. Why not? We'll make it the seventh day of Aristus. Let's go with that. Their life ends here. So that is our character. We have got Barrett, the human ranger. He's a hunter background. Um, with longbow and point blank shot. So let's complete it. And let us go in and do the first few minutes here and see what happens. We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or an accommodating ditch? Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? Hmm. The wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? The enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard, take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. Oh, inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. So far, the voice acting is pretty good. I'm liking the, the graphics that I'm seeing here. Seems very crisp and clear. Um, you will have water if they have as water. soon as we heal your wounds. <laughs> My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her! Terendalev! Has anyone seen Terendalev? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. Hmm. So should I give him my name? Should I tell him I'm a crusader and I keen to fight demons? I'm in a private business. I've lived in the city for a long time. I'm a traveler and I was just passing by. I don't remember. For who I am is none of your business. I don't like the option of seven because that's just not who I am. And I have a tendency in these type of games to kind of go more towards the good side of things. I'm going to go and just say my name first. Let's see what happens. That's the first I've heard of that name. Who are you then? What's your business in the city? My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on, I'll take care of him. Hm. All right, as you wish. You are our protector and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom. Be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls. 
and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Now, one thing that uh, you guys might not be aware of if you never played the first one, but a lot of these names that are in bold, you can highlight over it, and it will give you a little history of what the city is that they're talking about, or like the demons here, if you highlight over that, it tells you who they are, how they malign. Uh, you can expand it a little bit more if you want to get into it a little bit more. Uh, so that's kind of nice as well. A uh, nice little lore to kind of see what's going on there. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. And I could have the options again of thanking her for her help, asking who she is, asking if she's really a dragon, asking what happened to me, or can I go? Um, I think I'll be polite. I'll just say uh, thank you for helping me. I accept your thanks, but my work is not yet done. And now I'm going to ask who she is. My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. And I'm going to ask if she's really a dragon because she looks like a person to me. You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Now I'm going to ask her what happened to me. I do not know yet, and that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Okay, now I'm going to ask her if I can go. Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Okay. And now it's saying that uh, it's the day of the city, and uh, I got to sample the festivities. Uh, when a quest updates, you will see notification on the top. That went by way too quickly, but that's okay. Click the right mouse button on where you want to move. Uh, the point you have clicked will be marked by a special symbol. If you and then it's talking about rotating. Okay. Looks like... Yep, those rotate. That looks like my guy right here. If it's like any arc of these games, it's either going to be tab. Yep, tab will pull up all the name lists and everything else in the game. So it looks like there's something new here, so let's get over here. It says that you can interact with various objects, such as stores and chests, by clicking in the right mouse button on them. Some objects have an icon above them. This is how you'll talk to the characters. Hold the tab, which we just figured out, to highlight all interactive objects and show the interaction icons. So it looks like left aim to the throat. And my guy is a beast. Okay. Looks like I got a achievement for that one for throwing the dart at a target, so we'll keep moving on. Most of the times in these type of games when you see like a normal name on somebody, there is not a quest on them, but when you see an actual named person, those are the ones you want to talk to. And it looks like this has thrown me. Unless this is very static right now and there's only a set things to do. Lots of people out here, but I'm not seeing anything really here to do. 
Nick writes a little band going on there. Look at them go. Something right here, so let's go on that. Yeah, look, I kind of having myself a drink. I really like these type of games, please. Where should we go? Well, that doesn't sound good, cool. and that does not. Behold, I own a name, you poor imposter. Your city will fall to me. Your followers will feed my hunger. down the music a little bit so that way you guys don't get blasted out here. Let's go music volume. Let's bring that down. Let's bring the ambient. Do the voices. And put that down. Come on. Okay, so I have the option. I've seen you here somewhere before. Who is Descari? What is the situation in the city? Can you lend me a weapon? I'll try to fight the demons. I think I'm going to go look for a way out of here. <coughs> and give me that protective spell. I apologize for the dog barking in the background. He is uh, definitely wanting my attention. Um, so I'm going to go with, I've seen you here somewhere before. Yeah, you have. You owe me your life. I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. And I'm gonna say, who is the Descari? You must have got a good drubbing around the head, brother. Descari's a demon lord. The most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. And I'm gonna say, what's the situation in the city? Who knows? Everything's on fire, crashing down around our ears. Places crawling with demons. Looks like a whole army attacked the city. We're sitting ducks! And I have the option to lend a weapon to fight or run away. I'm going to take a weapon to fight. Sure thing. Yeah, take this. And of course, he gives Best me a light crossbow cross. I've got. Good luck. Try not to get eaten now. This is quite the battle. Again, I'm not controlling again, so... That guy is just awesome. A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. That doesn't look good. Behold, Iomane. Behold the death I saw. And now I got a pop the up devoured by dragon, Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. 
hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. And looks like we are now beginning. There's my character. There's the point playing shot. Let me press I. Um, so right now it looks like I've got some lucky bracers and some stud of leather on me. I'm going to equip this uh, crossbow. Um, that's my uh, profession as a demon slayer. There's all my stats again. Um... With my current weapon, it shows my attack, my damage, my critical. Um, shows my weight as far as what I'm carrying. Um, if I click on the character, it's going to show my uh, that I'm lawful good. It shows all my uh, skills. It looks like I have feather fall for two seconds, so I'm not going to get injured for two seconds, which that won't last very long, I'm going to guess. Um, for my abilities, I've got a ton of stuff here. Um, so Coop de Grace, Fighting Defensively, Treat Afflictions, uh, Demoralize, Inspire Rage, Charge. So a bunch of things in here. Uh, for my martial qualities, I've got my base attack, my maneuvers. Uh, looks like my range is really good. Uh, for my class, those are all my class skills that I can get as I level up. Uh, right now I'm just level 1, so I really don't have a lot of stuff going on. And then my biography. So I'm going to guess that this will fill in as I go along in the game. Uh, we'll check that out as we go. Uh, spell book is any spells that I have. Right now I have none. Journal is my quest log it looks like. So I'm at uh, Day of the City is what I completed. I did not hit the mannequin. So I missed one. Um, devoured by darkness. And it looks like I have to strike... Find other survivors is what my uh, current quest is. Encyclopedia will just tell you all the things that you learn as you go and how to play the game. And then the map. And right now as the map goes, small little area, but this looks like it's a pretty good sized map as well. Uh, so let's get out of here, quit talking, and uh, let's see if we can uh, do some things. So, I just love the, the graphics of this. This is very crisp and clear. Oh, I see a body. Doesn't look like I could do anything to him. Nothing on that little guy there. Doesn't look like nothing there. I see a person here. So let me go see what's going on there. Oh, holy mother of... It says, a small woman with messy brown hair winces the pain, uttering a stream of curses through clenched teeth. She is pinned to the ground by a couple of weighty boulders. So it actually looks like there's two people there. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? I feel them all right. One say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terenda left healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? So it looks like there's a skill check dialog box on the right there. It says, during the course of the game, you will have to apply your skills in many different situations. Frequently, you will have to make a skill check during dialogue. Here, for example, we are trying to help Sela or Sela fetch Aniva from beneath the rubble. The result of such checks determines how events will pan out. Such a check is usually performed by the character with the highest bonus in the appropriate skill in the party. So usually that means that uh, if you have a party, you want to highlight everybody before you do these things. So that way the one with the highest skill check will actually be able to accomplish this. Um, so we have, why should we help her? We have an athletics 12. Hold on, we're going to get you out from under there. A knowledge world of 12. 
We don't have to rely on brute strength for this. I'll try to find something to use as a lever. And then uh, we have an evil option uh, where it says, I don't want to help anyone for free, pay up, or, or stay stuck under the rubble. I'm not going to do the evil one. Um, if I highlight these things, it shows here that uh, my character has a negative two knowledge for the world, so that's not going to be a good choice. Um, I've got, for athletics, i got a plus four. Um, so it says here that this is my best character for this uh, option. Uh, so I'm going to go and try to get them out from under the, the boulder. So I'm going to click on that option. Again, I apologize for the dogs going off in the background, but they're young and uh, they're wanting some attention. So I'll probably close up here soon. Uh, but let's get a little bit further, maybe another five or so minutes, and then we will stop. So it says here I failed. And it says that uh, you have to work hard to get the wounded woman out from the rubble. At last, uh, the night stops to catch her breath and wipe the sweat from her brow. And it says on the side over here, uh, result of a skill check. You have failed the skill check to, uh, so Sela had to be removed, had to remove Aniva from beneath the rubble alone. Because of this, she became fatigued and incurred a temporary penalty to some of her abilities. If your skill check had been more successful, there would have been no negative consequences. So I'm going to guess on this one we had no choice but to probably to fail so they could teach us this. So I'm going to say continue. Ah, damn it all. I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm a Nevia Tirabade of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila, Paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendev and fight demons. And, well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's Herald, with the Goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabrace will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? And again, I'll pop up this Wardstone information so you can see what that is. And then the option I have is, I came here to fight the Abyss. I am a scholar. I came here to see the world wound with my own eyes. One person's war is another person's opportunity. I'm in the city to seek my fortune. I'm led by destiny. I don't know why fate has brought me here, but I feel it was not by chance. I'm a traveler, and I just wound up here by chance. Uh, my name again, and it's none of your business. So I think I'm going to say I'm led by destiny. Destiny is destiny. So it's either one or the other. Either fate is having a right like old Libby laugh said at your expense. She agrees. Or Lady Luck sent you to us for a reason. Fate isn't what brought us here. And fate won't get us out either. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far. Only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. To summarize, there are three of us with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. Okay, so now let's talk about our party. Uh, typical things, you can uh, highlight everybody, uh, assign them a key so that way you can get to them quickly. 
Um, you can select everybody through the backspace. Um, so typical party stuff if you've ever played an RPG before. So we'll go ahead and close that out. Um, let's go ahead and highlight these guys. I'll sign it's them a key. Time to act. And then let's also Rely go here. Take a look at her. Looks like she's a lawful good paladin. Uh, she's got herself a longsword and a shield. And a short bow. So she can do some range as well. And it looks like she's got some banded mail. It looks like the other gal I cannot see. Uh, for her character, she's good at persuasion, it looks like. She's got some good worldly knowledge. Uh, her mobility is really bad. Her athletics are not good, so she wouldn't be good for those checks or her stealth. She's got a little bit of trickery, but not a lot. Some in perception, but not a lot again. So it looks like her big thing is persuasion. And right now she's got some fatigue that's permanent. Probably because of that uh, failed uh, check that we had. Um, her abilities, again, a lot of different things on here. Uh, with us being all level 1, there's not going to be a lot of choices, but there's still a decent amount here. Uh, Marshall gives you a little bit of her stats. Um, her class skills. And you can highlight over these, and they will tell you what they are, what they do, and uh, how everything goes along. Um, her biography, so it looks like she's a knight errant. Um, so that's good. I'll let you read that if you want to read it. I'll keep it up for a couple seconds. And it looks like she is a lawful good character. I think uh, now Hero is trying to talk about everything in the background there, as you could probably hear the dogs. Uh, she has no spells in her spell book. Again, the journal is just showing that uh, we got to find a way up now, that we found the survivors. Um, encyclopedia, again, just uh, the rules and the map, again, which you already know. So let's get out of here. Uh, let's see what happens if we can get on going here. I'm always ready. Um, if I remember right from the other games, down here are a bunch of different options. You got your inventory, you got your character screen, spell books, journal, your map. Campfire allows you the rest to be able to get your health back up, try to get rid of some injuries, stuff like that. You can skip time. I usually play the game on turn-based mode just because it's easier for me. Uh, but some people might like the live view, and I'll keep that going for the first combat that we do, and then uh, might turn that off as we go. Uh, these are the game settings if you need to get there. Uh, this is inspecting characters, so you can use uh, your knowledge of lore skills to be able to check things out. And that will help you get some more information about them and how to kill them easier. Um, this here is uh, select all characters, so you can select everybody in Dragon, or you can just write through that as well. Um... This here is formation, so formation's kind of nice. If you leave it in the first one, which is optional, it'll find your the characters that are the strongest and put them up on the front, the weakest ones in the back. It's not a bad thing to do, but I prefer to usually do triangle formation because the nice thing about it is it unlocks these, and then I can move people around, so I'll probably make my paladin go up more in the front, my range guy in the back, and that way they're kind of separated more. You also have a star formation, uh, waves formation, circle formation, and a T. T just basically does what it says, makes them in a T formation. But either which way, any of these ones here, you can actually customize yourself. So I'm going to keep it like this. And what you'll see now is that when I click on here, <coughs> my paladin goes up front. My ranger's in the back now. So now I have them back. And then this guy, like I said, we're not able to control. I'm not sure she'll fight on herself when we're going, but... These two should get into the battle fairly easy. Another dead body there, so that's not a good thing. We do it my way. I'm hoping to get into a combat here, or get into something up here, so that way you can see before I leave. But a uh, bunch of items here. Looks like we got a cloak of resistance. We got a flail, some torches, a shield, a hand axe, a longbow. A long sword and a short spear. So I'm going to collect all those. It's telling us now that we've acquired it. We should go into inventory and equip it, basically. So I'm going to go into inventory. Um, I'm going to probably move this crossbow down to a second stat. I'm going to grab the longbow, which is the, he's more proficient at, and put it up there. Um, I'm going to see if she can put on the cloak of resistance and see if that'll do her any better. 
and that does. Um, her sword gives a 1d8. Um, her shield is a 2. So those are better than what's there. That's a 1d8. So I'm going to leave it like that. So let's get everybody back together again. Now let's just say that you'll find containers. Some we might have to uh, uh, probably pick. Um, there's also enemy corpses, barrels, anything else in the environment that we could get on occasion. So, and it looks like there's something right there. And it looks like a scale. So there's like all that. I'm not liking how this thing is coming down upon us in here, but my guess is the battle up front is going pretty heavy still. And it looks like we've got some more people. And it says, who's there? The fine apparel of this young half-elf woman is torn and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. However, she holds herself with su such dignity that you would be forgiven for thinking you were at a high so society party and not in the dank catacombs under the city. Her fingers grip her rapier hilt with confidence, ready to draw, and at a moment's notice. Her feet, at her feet lies a dead body so mutilated that at first glance it's hard to tell if it's animal or human. Relax, friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... when... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. It says not many could withstand a strike from a demon lord. Uh, not even Terendalev. Tell me more about yourself. What happened to this man? And who is he? Do you want to join us? Or we need to keep moving? There must be a way back to the service summit around here. Um, let's ask what happened to the guy. See if she killed him. I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. She looks trustworthy, right? He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. So now I'm going to say not many could withstand a strike from a demon lord? I can't argue with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Daskari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Tarandalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now? <sighs> We've seen how powerless they truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. Now I'm going to ask her to tell me more about her. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your group. No need to worry about that. I can assure you that I am skilled with a rapier. And I also possess some knowledge of magic. Let's see if she wants to join. Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves. And now let's keep moving. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack, only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. And it says here, uh, using abilities, uh, Companion Camellia has the ability to cure light wounds. And it tells you how to basically do it. Basically, you click on her portrait. Uh, you click on the Cure Light Wound spell, and then you click on the person that you want to heal. And it's telling us that they, we should heal her, What's so I'm going to click mind? on her portrait. I wonder. Um, there's a Cure Light Wound, so I'm going to click on that, and then on her. And she's been healed. 
And let's loot this body like they were saying. It looks like on there is a masterwork dagger. And another thing I'm going to do now. It says, in dark places such as caves, it's hard to see anything. There are two main ways of lighting your path. The first is to cast a light spell. And the other is to basically uh, carry a torch on you. So I'm going to go into here real quick. I'm going to look at our new character. Uh, she is a spirit hunter. Uh, so it looks like she's a shaman. Looks like she uh, has a rapier and a buckler for a weapon. Um, and that actually is a pretty good weapon for her. Um, looking at her character a little bit. She's okay on persuasion. She's really good on perception. And really good on trickery. So she's a good one for like thievery and stuff like that. She's got some lore of nature and religion as well. So she's got a little help there. Okay on stealth. And okay on mobility as well. So she's actually uh, not too bad. She's more of a uh, thief kind of if you look at it. Uh, those are some of her class skills there. Uh, Merit Marshall. Here's all the things that she can learn as she goes. And then her biography, it looks like she is undetectable. So we don't know if she's uh, neutral, lawful good, or anything of that nature. She has blue blood. She fights demons and cultists alike, but prefers to keep her distance from fellow warriors. So she's kind of a, a loner, so to speak. And then uh, for Spellbook, she's got Bane, Cause Fear, Entangle, Remove Fear, Unbreakable Heart. She can enlarge people, do sleep. Inflict wounds, cure wounds, bless. She gets burning hands, doom, protection from an alignment. And it looks like you probably could choose the alignment, I'm going to guess, when you cast it. And then she can summon a, uh, a nature ally. So probably like a spider or some of that nature. So let's close this out. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go back into here again. So she seems to be one that's up front. I'm going to move her up there with her. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all my characters. I'm going to go ahead and save my that configuration. Absolute. And let's see if we can get moving. I am again. never wrong. There we go. Oh, looks like there's another. Oh, there's save the enemy. last one for me. So on combat, this basically tells you that you can pause or unpause the screen to give orders. Uh, you left click to attack. Turn-based modes, uh, you basically could do the attacks and then let things go from there. Right now we're on real time, so we're going to go ahead and just leave it on real time for a second. See if we can get this combat going. And then I will probably stop the episode after this combat uh, and take it up again uh, on our next episode. Let's get him... Don't back. Looks like she's coming up to attack, so she might be actually helping too. Well, that was uh, very beefy. The world in crimson. Okay, so we got those all taken care of. Looks like we can go loot this dead body. Some gold coins, a bottle of oil, and some padded armor. And with that, I'm going to call this episode good. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this out. Again, this is our new uh, Let's Play series for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And uh, sorry for the long video. I know that usually they will go long at first when you're start starting off. Uh, but we'll get more into the meats and potatoes of this as we go. If you did like this video, uh, press the uh, like button down below. Leave a comment. The comment could be anything you want, like whatever. And uh, please subscribe so that way you'll know when the next video comes out. And with that, I'm going to say uh, have a uh, good night and uh, thanks for stopping by.